Hey folks, it's Matt once again, and uh, this is sort of a take two, because uh, what happened was I, I got two packages, one from an untraditional prawn and one from Scott. I was showing the gifts that Scott sent me, and I didn't realize that <laughs> it dawned on me that one of the gifts he was showing, which I'm not going to show the front of this, is a nudie calendar. <laughs> and the actor edited this stuff, but I'm like, um... I don't want to, because I was like showing, like, oh, I, hey, look, I got some stuff, and it's like, I don't want to miss anything and get in trouble, so, and I did not know, like, no one expects me to set a nudie calendar, but, uh, hey, I'm not complaining. The more of that, the better. <laughs> so I apologize that uh, it's not a, oh, I didn't see it coming reaction. Uh, but... I had first talked about Unconditional Prawn. He had sent me two films. Uh, one was Capricorn One, directed by Peter Hyams, which has Elliot Gould, uh, Sam Waterston from Warning Sign, Kelly Savalas, James Brolin, and yes, even O.J. Simpson. I think he wants me to review this, so I will review this sometime very soon. And then he had sent me this film, which just came out the other day, and that's really cool. Cool. I'm a big fan of Cheech and Chon, and this is my favorite of theirs. I love Next Movie, but I would say this is my number one favorite. I would honestly say this is one of my favorite comedies of all time. And this is first time on Blu-ray, 40th anniversary, has all the features from the DVD, and has a new interview with Cheech and Chon. So that would be really cool to listen to, or to watch. But yeah, love this movie, great flick. I don't know about the cover with the yellow, but very cool to have this on Blu-ray, so thank you so much, man. And he left a message. Hi, Matt. Enjoy your gift. I'm thinking you'll wait for this one for a Cheech and Chong marathon. But another movie should be there around the same time shortly from Unconditional Prawn, which was this. So in the meantime, I will at least review this for him. I know I was doing a review of him called Ghost World, but I saw it, and it just... Other than Steve Buscemi, it did nothing for me, so I just, I had nothing really uh, to say about that. Sorry. And then Scott, uh, he had sent me, we have a t-shirt. Inside BJJ, which I'm not going to make any jokes on that. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, just roll with it. Competition team. And then... Even has someone on the back. That's really cool. So I don't want to get that dirty. And then this little thing, this is where uh, I saw this, and it was like in this little package here. I'm like, oh, what's this? I'm like, okay, there's a pen. And then I was like, oh, there's a pen. The inside Brazilian Jiu Jitsu pin, so uh, maybe Scott's into Jiu Jitsu. That's really cool. A CD of a person I don't know about, Alex Henley. Came out 2018, but I'm not sure who Alex Henley is. But um, And then I had shown this. I'm like, hey, look at this. And it's like, oh, okay. It's a bunch of titties. Which, I like this. This is a great gift. I'm being serious. More people should send me gifts like this. There you go. Rambo Rifle at the Porn Mag. The Porn Team. Keep this in my pocket at all times. It fits right in your pocket, so I like that. Can't show this, otherwise I'd get in trouble. But I was showing it off, and I did pay attention to it, and then I'm like, you know, how much editing will I miss an edit? So, sorry, it's not that, but uh, it's it was a good surprise. Hell, I'm being serious. People could send me that kind of stuff all day. DVDs, Blu-rays, blow-up dolls. Hell yeah. Be a different kind of unpackaging. But he also sent me food. Uh, Matt's chocolate chip. 
cookies. I'm guessing the reason is because I apparently I make these, or I own this company, but I got ripped off because no one's giving me the money from this. But yeah, that's chocolate chip cookies. Hopefully my cookies don't suck ass. Unbleached wheat flour, real chocolate chips, brown sugar, fresh eggs. I will definitely do a video trying these out. I haven't done a video where I try out food for a while, but there's not a lot of people that send me food, uh, except like Scott, and that's really cool. I think that's a really cool thing. I, I will definitely do a video on that, and I will also try these out. It is Kettle Brand Potato Chips, Hot Jalapeno. Gluten-free, no artificial preservatives, zero grams in fat, trans fat. I will definitely do a video trying these out. So thank you so much for those. That's really cool. I think that's really neat. So I'm like, wow, so far this is great. I got a t-shirt, I got food, and I got some nudie calendars. I love it. <laughs> Seriously, that's not even me, like, bullshit. And DVDRs, very cool. I have not opened these yet, so these will be a uh, surprise. <laughs> um, so for this, we have uh, 1080p copies of Wanted Dead or Alive and Bird on Wire. Very cool. Uh, HD copies of these. That's very cool. A 1080p copy of Moon 44. Remember not minding that film with Michael Pere? So a 1080p copy? That's very cool. Ooh, and a uh, I do have this film on DVD, but it's always nice to have another copy of Giver 2, Dark Hero. Can't complain about that. That's very cool. Thank you for those. And then, um, we did talk on Facebook, so I'm pretty sure I know what this is, but still, that doesn't make it any less cool. Yeah. Yeah, mentioned this to me. And I'm like, wow, that's really cool. So, once I. Uh, give me the scissors. Scissors. <sighs> but yeah, I'm a big fan of like uh, Cheech and Chon on that one. Mexican American, we go to high school, we take Spanish and get a B. We have to get up early, we don't want to, but we have to, so we do it real slow. That's from the second movie. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. That is cool, man. Wow. A Blu-ray copy of Maximum Overdrive. Now, this is pretty sure a fan custom copy, but that's fine with me. I'm perfectly fine with that because if Stephen King and the studios are too shitty asshole enough to not put this on Blu-ray, then hell, I'm perfectly fine with this. Uh, we'll never get the unrated cut of this. It's just one of those things will never happen. I guarantee you, it's like even the horror show, right? How Stream Factory came out with that. Even though there is a an unrated copy overseas, they couldn't put that on the Blu-ray in the U.S. And if they couldn't even do that, which would just be very simple, it's over there in the U.K., just put it on the U.S. They couldn't do that. They're not going to have an unrated Blu-ray of this. 
In fact, Scream Factory, it's very rare, like those companies nowadays. I can't think of the last one that had an unrated, that, that wasn't an unrated before release in the U.S. You know what I mean? Very rare that happens, so... I don't see this getting on a natural Blu-ray. I mean, there's a Blu-ray overseas, but I like this because I love the cover. I love that it's in English. And the person here actually did put... Uh, I, he got this from someone. I know we were talking on Facebook, and the person who makes these, I don't know who it is, but they actually put some features. HD trailer, the music of Maximum Overdrive. ACDC on meeting Stephen King in audio form and a Fangoria scan, which that's really cool. Hell, I guarantee you this will be more features than when this does get on a Blu-ray, because no one's going to talk about the movie. Emilio Estevez doesn't like the movie. Stephen King hates the movie, so who the hell are you going to get to talk about the movie other than them taking a the shit on it? And you're not going to get the uncut version, so honestly, this is the best Blu-ray to have, so I thank him for it. That's really cool. It's absolutely cool. So yeah, match some more drive. Love this film to death. I did a fan commentary on this movie. It did at least one review for this film. I love this to the tenth power. It's one of my favorite films of all time. Because I did like a letterbox thing. I'm like, yeah, this is one of my favorite films of all time. It's just so much fun. Like this is what I miss. And that's why they don't make movies like this, because everyone hates it. It's cheesy. That's why I hate the word cheesy. No, this is badass. I want to see a guy shooting you fucking rocket launcher against killer semi trucks. Not shitty CGI shark needle bullshit. I want to see a movie with ACDC and a semi truck with a green goblin f face. Or a giant octopus versus mega piranha. Or whatever fuck side if I silent crap comes out. So this is fantastic. I mean, this alone would have been more more than fine, Scott. This alone. And then on top of that, you send me food, you send me a t-shirt, DVDs, a pen, uh, a new calendar, which I can't help but not to uh, titties. Can't show this on camera, but I can't stop looking at them because they're nice. And I also have a letter. So let's look at the letter. And I don't want to also uh, a big thank you. I don't want to throw. How do I put it? These are not, how do I put it? I don't want to take it lightly that I got gifts here too, dude. These are really cool gifts too. Especially Up and Smoke, which I actually had on my Amazon wish list that he got it for me. So Unconditional Prawn, if you're watching this, these gifts I don't take lightly either. That's the thing, when you get gifts, it's nothing to take lightly. Just someone put their money and their time and their effort into you who just sits in a chair with no fancy editing and anything, so I don't take that lightly, I really don't. This is from Scott. Dear Matt, I really do hope everything is going well for you, man, that this year will be another year of entertainment, fun, and excitement from the movies, as well as possible reviews, rants from you down the road. As to be expected, I send more gifts your way because I'm one hell of a friend and an awesome person like all your other subscribers. I agree with that. Uh, first off, included is the stupid Norn antivirus. Blu-ray, a maximum overdrive. Hopefully the picture quality is good enough to be worthy of 1080p. The seller on eBay is Team Blue, T-E-A-M-B-L-U, and I bought two other Blu-rays from them. Night of the Living Dead, 1990 with extras, plus it does not have the blue tent effect like the Twilight Time. And the Warriors theatrical cut with extras as well. Hmm. I have to tell my friend Efri about this because he's a big fan of the Warriors. He, he always wanted the theatrical cut. So I'm going to have to tell him about this Team Blue. 
Overall, they seem to do a pretty good job on remastering. Also include DVDRs of other movies such as Moon 44, Driver 2 Dark Hero, Wanted Dead or Alive, and Bird on a Wire. Thank you. In addition to movies, I sent food for you to try, which is Kettle Jalapeno Potato Chips. Really like them. Hopefully you enjoy them. I also sent out some Mass Chocolate chi Chip Cookies. Irony of your name being Matt. I find them to be delicious because they seem to use a bit more fresh ingredients. In case hopefully the stats are worth it and I look forward to a taste video of yours. That will definitely be coming. I've also sent over a t-shirt where I do my jujitsu training. Okay, so he that is true. He was he does do jujitsu training. Wow. And so far I've earned a couple stripes. It's been a very grueling training process where you learn drills, techniques, people with loads of experience, and going up against different body types that can vary from being the same stature as me or even stronger slash taller than me. In any case, the overall training that I endured, it's been one hell of a journey, and hopefully I can continue, continue it if possible. I wish you good luck in that, man. I can't imagine, but I can't, I can't imagine how hard it is. So, I mean, jujitsu, that's not something to take lightly. If you're wondering why I included that music CD, that person is my head instructor at Insight, which he has a black belt along with a few stripes, but I could be wrong. He's a very talented musician, playing bass and a vocalist, and I figure if you could give his music a go, even if you're not a huge jazz fan, I also include an Insight pin and a calendar for your enjoyment. In addition, I'm requesting an unboxing taste video. If it's all possible, I would like to team up on another live stream chat discussing Predator 2 because like you, I grew up on that movie and I consider it an extremely underrated sequel that gets bashed too much. I own the DVD, been wondering if I should get the Blu-ray because I like to own the rumored NC-17 cut that was edited 20 times. Anyways, hopefully we can talk about the movie sometime, as I really enjoy that sequel and possibly message me on Facebook about it. In any case, I know that either way you'll appreciate my gifts for sure. Take care of yourself, man. Scott, A.T. Open-Minded Movie Man. Well, first off, thank you so much for the gifts. As for the Predator 2 stream, I'm sort of still getting the hang of it, so... I know like on other live streams they can put people into their circle. Uh, with mine, the live stream, I'm still kind of working on it. So I'm still trying to figure stuff out. Um, but if you want to join in on the chat, please feel free. Uh, what I might do is I might, I might make an announcement video sometime this week to do a Predator 2 live stream. Maybe... Uh, maybe Friday or Saturday. I can't promise anything, but maybe we can do something like that if you want to enjoy the stream. And I still have to, I don't know, to, to sir, and I've been on the Sausage Factory. They do all the work. They just send me a link and I join on. Um, but with this computer I have, it's pretty wonky and how the last stream I did the internet fucked up so um, I have to take baby steps on the live stream but yeah if you want to join in on the on the stream like on the chat please feel free um, maybe I'll message them and say like what days are good to join at least the chat part of the stream But either way, thank you so much for the gifts, Scott, and also Unconditional Prawn. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Um, in the meantime, I know I have to watch and do a. F we'll finish watching and do a review of The Shape of Water. Also, Capricorn One. And then hopefully sometime uh, 
do a Predator 2 stream. Maybe Friday, maybe Saturday. We'll see. So, thanks for watching. Take care. And we will see you later. Bye-bye.